Hey, welcome to our episode of Chaz Beer Reviews. Christina is joining us again. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I'm looking forward to trying tonight's beer. It's from my old favorite breweries, Brewery Amagang. All Hallows Treat Imperial Chocolate Peanut Butter Stout, 7.6% ABV. I, I love this label. It looks like an old Tales from the Crypt comic book cover. Mm hmm. So, 1950s movie. Yeah, very cool. All right, so I'm going to pour it into the Spiegel Stout glass. Coming out of the can, it's like kind of a dark brown. Once we're in the glass, it's, I mean, it looks black, but it's actually just really dark brown. Get a pretty big, I'd probably call it like a light brown foamy head, but the foam did die down. Let's give it a smell. Well, definitely, Peanut to me, butter. it smells as advertised. It smells like a, uh, Reese's Pieces. I, yeah, I definitely get peanut butter, definitely get chocolate. Anything else? Are you getting something kind of licorice-y? I was about to say that, yeah. Like almost a little um, like root beer? Maybe root beer, yeah. Yeah, but I, yeah, probably like a... Licorice is like a pretty common character from dark malts. Yeah. Could also be... I don't know if they're using American ale yeast or Belgian. There is like a real, real faint, like fruity background. Mm -hmm. But... Have you ever I, smelled a, a chocolate Tootsie Roll pop? Yeah. To me, I don't get like roast or coffee on here though. It smells quite sweet. Mm-hmm. I get that's real Let's hot. dig in. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah, that has like, it's a couple of different things there. Like, I get peanut butter up first, up, up first, at first. Mm-hmm. Um, and the finish is like with like a kind of Dr. Pepper kind of flavor. Yeah, like a, like a prunish Coca-Cola type thing. It is, it's, yeah, like a soda of some sort. Yeah, prunt chocolate. Chocolate and peanut butter, but mm -hmm. it's actually not that rich. Mm -mm. I was expecting it to be like, you know, like fudge. And this is, it has like, yeah, it has like kind of like a... Like a pe like a artificial flavor, like yeah. A, like a soda. Yes. Yeah, mm. there's something there. It's funny, like the it. first sip or two was like really good, and like each sip that I take, I'm liking it a little less. Less. The mouthfeel on here is very thin. It is. For seven point six, you know, and I really don't consider seven point six like imperial. I think you got to be like at least eight mm -hmm. percent. Mm. Um. So like, when I uh, when I think imperial, I want like some much stronger and thicker than this. It is light. Yeah, that's a pretty light body. Even the carbonation is, kind of like, I probably call it like moderate. It feels like it's lost something. Definitely. Or moderately low. Yeah, it's definitely like, nowhere close you know, to carbonated. Well, I have I have had other peanut butter stouts, and I don't think any of them have kept the head. Yeah. So I think that's pretty normal, just because of like that peanut butter. Um, well, it depends if they use actual peanut butter or like a peanut butter extract flavoring or mm -hmm. what, but like peanut butter is like very oily. Yeah, so I mean, this is, this is okay, but to me it tastes, it just tastes like very faux or fa. Yes. Yeah, it's almost like a chocolate peanut butter soda. It, it's very soda-like. It's a little, kind of throwing me off a little bit. Yeah, like with the <laughs> cherry Coke or Dr. Pepper aftertaste. It even looks like it, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of getting lost, or the peanut butter is kind of getting lost for me. Yeah, as I'm drinking the, it all the flavors, all the flavors faded pretty quickly, mm -hmm. and it yeah now it feels like I'm drinking soda. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. Um, yeah, a little disappointing. I mean, it's not it's not a bad beer, but it's a uh, yeah, it just didn't live up to my. I think it was three dollars and ninety nine cents for this can. <laughs> I don't think. Well, actually, that's not a bad deal considering the price of beer these days, but. As far as the score from the All Hallows Treat, the label is an A+. Plus. The actual beer, mm -hmm. I, I think like three, maybe three and a quarter out of five. I would say three as well. Three. If they were going for a root beer type quality, maybe they yeah. could have put that on there. It is Halloween, but yeah, just as a chocolate peanut butter. No, nah, like Sweet Baby Jesus and some other chocolate peanut butter beers are much better than this mm -hmm. one, so... If you watch all the way in, you know you're awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Chris for joining. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.
Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.